sales lender. Hey realtors, how many times does your lender contact you during the loan process? Here's another tip for you today that's gonna help you with, you with your business. Keep this in mind, communication is always key. We have systems and processes in place for everything to help our realtors not be surprised during the loan process and more so to never be wondering what's going on with their clients during their loan process. So here's the tip that I wanna give you. Calendar all of the important dates within the loan process with your loan officer when you give them that contract. Stay on the phone with them and tell them, hey, I wanna, I wanna calendar all the important dates so I know what's going on and when things are going to happen. So I'm gonna to go to the board behind me to go through those steps just to make it clear for you to understand. So again, how many times does your loan officer contact you during the loan process? The first thing that you wanna do is ask your loan officer to order the appraisal and then ask them, when you order the appraisal, let me know and when is that appraisal due back? The next thing that I have written down here and I have it in black is because we do it on my team, not everyone does it, but we call you when we get conditional loan approval. And realtors, that's to let you know that your client's given us everything that we need and we've submitted the loan for approval. After that, I have closing disclosure is out and signed by the buyer. And remember, it's gotta be signed at least three days prior to close of escrow, or you're gonna have to push that closing date back. The next thing is the final loan approval or what we call in our business, the cleared to close. Now, if you see, I've put an arrow here because most lenders put the CD in the other position. At my team, we send the CD, the closing disclosure, out at conditional loan approval or 10 days prior to close of escrow so that you guys are not holding your breath wondering when that closing disclosure is going to go out. The next step that I've written down is docs to title. I know you guys love that. Docs are at title. And again, according to the Arizona Purchase Contract, they have to be there at least three days prior to close of escrow. Put it on your calendar and make your lender do the same. I have three stars here, and these stars are things that we do that you should have a lender that does as well, because trust me, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. It's gonna allow you to grow and go do other things. The first thing is the lender should have automated systems in place. So you should be getting an email at all these loan milestones and or a text. We also call to let you know what's going on at every loan milestone. So emails, texts, and phone calls. Next star I have here is we send out LSUs, our loan status updates, every week. My team does them every Thursday to both realtors, to you and to the listing agent. And that means that yes, we contact the listing agents for you so that you don't have to worry about that. Yesterday, when talking to one of my realtor partners, she said, I just love doing loans with you because I don't have to communicate with the listing agent because you do that through your automated system, which is, which is a very cool thing to hear from her. So in total here, if you look at this, we're contacting our realtor partners a minimum of 15 times during the loan process. How many times is your lender contacting you during the loan process? And you tell us if we can help you with this. Stay tuned for more tips coming soon. I would love to help you guys grow your business. Please don't hesitate to call me. I appreciate your support. Have a great night. Talk to you soon.